Hey guys and girls, it's Reefman, and today I wanted to tell you about the Pacific Sun AR Pro Allergy Reactor. I built an allergy reactor a while back. There's a video on it, I'll link it here, but I've had some trouble with it overheating and just generally not working so well. So when this new allergy reactor came on the market, I figured I would pick up a large one. Um, I ordered it directly from Pacific Sun in Poland, and here it is. So this is a large model allergy reactor. They have a small and a medium as well, but the large one is good for about 250 gallons to about 530 gallon tanks. My tank is about 288 gallons, so this should work out really well. The flow rate that they want through this allergy reactor is about 400 to 530 gallons per hour, so that should also be easily uh, manageable. I like the acrylic construction. The top is nicely machined. Um, there's an input for a calcium reactor, so you can run your uh, low pH, high CO2 effluent through there, and the allergy growing inside will use up some of that CO2. It will help with maybe the overall pH of the system. There are these panels inside. They're movable if you wanted to clean them, and then they're all around a central acrylic core in which the LEDs are wrapped. They claim that this will reduce nitrate, phosphate, um, it reduce organics, reduce carbon dioxide, which will increase your pH, uh, increase your overall system oxygen levels. So allergy reactors, at least according to them, are pretty, pretty uh, beneficial for your tank. They did use a standard um, NIVIS uh, LED tape. It's a 24 volt DC tape. It uses Cree diodes, you can see. Um, they light up nicely and uniformly. There weren't any dead ones on it. Um, I am a little bit concerned that the, the overall uh, system might overheat a little bit because these LEDs are just wrapped around an acrylic rod, not a metal rod. So I'm curious how it will work um, for cooling. You can see that the LEDs are pretty close to the exterior acrylic, so I'm hoping that just the water flowing through it will be enough to cool the LEDs. But we'll see, and I'll keep you guys updated. They didn't put any LEDs at the bottom so that allergy wouldn't grow there and block the uh, reactor input. They did use a warm white LED, not uh, the grow lights like I used before, which were pink and magenta. Uh, these should work just fine, I'm sure, to grow a kidomorpha. The plumbing itself, you can get uh, hose barbs or you can get just solid plumbing now. When I bought it, you could just get solid plumbing in 20 millimeter. So even though this union here says half inch, um, it turns out I think it's actually 20 millimeter. And then I also got, got a pump to run it. I hope this one was interesting. Let me know what you thought and like and subscribe. I will be back with an update once this has been in my tank for a little while and I'll let you know what I think about it. Thanks. See you next week. Bye.